Hello, hello, beautiful soul. Welcome to another short episode of Unapologetically Abundant Podcast. I'm your host, Petya Kolibova, and I want to talk with you about a very, very, very important topic, and that is our energy. Whether we will relate the energy to money, that was the subject that I've been speaking for last few weeks, and I would even say we're going into the months, because I realized how important money topic is, and especially how sensitive subject it is with us ladies, when we don't feel fully and don't embody fully the deservingness, the worthiness of really, truly, wholeheartedly believe that we can be abundantly paid to be ourselves. That's why I've been talking about money subject so, 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 so much and in such a depth. And today I want to speak about energy because the thing is that our energy truly speaks louder than any words. Just think about it. When you walk somewhere, whether it's to the store or to the party, you walk into the room and you look around, you can read people without even talking with them, without even hearing them. You look at them and without hearing any words, with no matter what they're doing, you can scan them real quick and see what kind of mood or energy are they in. Or if somebody walks into the door and they are full of themselves in the best way possible, you are attracted to them because these people are such a magnet. These people are so magnetic to everyone and everything around them. And when I say everything, the everything is also money because your energy is going to be what will determine what you will attract in your life. Because it doesn't matter how many times you repeat the mantras, how many times you say out loud the affirmations, and even though these are such an incredible tools and I'm using them daily, it's truly about how does it make you feel? What is the energy behind it? How do you feel at the end of saying these affirmations? When you, for example, say, I'm a millionaire, do you truly believe it? Do you truly embody it? Do you truly feel this is my truth? Or does your mind say, yeah, right, show me the money, <laughs> right? So it's truly about the energy. So to bring in more abundance, to bring in more goodness in your life, you get to first focus on the energy. The energy is going to lead you into the right action. The energy how you are feeling is going to determine what kind of actions you're going to take. Imagine that you wake up, you have such an incredible energy and mood and you're excited. Let's say it's a weekend, right? I remember when I was living for a weekend. So imagine it's a weekend, it's a sunny day, you wake up, you see the birds outside, you're feeling amazing, you have a delicious breakfast, you're reading your favorite book in a bed, and you are feeling on top of the world. And because you're reading this book, you get really inspired to message your friend that you haven't spoke for a very long time. This friend shares with you when you call her that she just started her podcast and she would love, love, love to interview you. And this morning, this great feeling just unfolds absolutely incredible, miraculous day when you're taking inspired actions and it feels like a flow. It feels like being in the top of the world really the whole day and you go to the bed and you're feeling like oh my gosh this was such an amazing day on the other hand you wake up in the morning you spill your hot drinks on you you're running late for your meeting or to work and you are feeling rushed you're feeling there is never enough time you're stuck in the traffic and everything that could go goes wrong the customers they're on a call they're in the worst mood possible your boss comes in and just moody and nothing it's it's the way that they like so you come home and you're feeling frustrated and exhausted and you're asking yourself what's wrong with me you grab for a bags of chips or um, ice cream or donuts or peanut butter and you just stuff your face you're watching a binge watching netflix and you're feeling that the world is all against you now 
it all started in the morning. It all started with how you're feeling. And of course, it's not like you just woke up, you're feeling like crappy and you want to go back to bed or you can go back to bed. If you can, go, go. Naps are always amazing to reset your energy. But if you can't, really ask yourself, what would make me feel better today? What would make me feel that I am moving the needle in my life? What would make me feel alive? What it feels inspiring right now? Ask yourself questions that are going to make you feel better and then take one small action. Maybe you will listen to a new podcast. Maybe you will buy a new book. Maybe you will contact a friend you didn't spoke with very long time. Maybe you will send a thank you messages. I remember when I was feeling crappy in the morning, I would, after my morning routine, grab my phone and text it to the people, just appreciation messages. Would we appreciate, appreciate. So when you can send out the love, the love comes back to you. So really ask yourself, how am I feeling? What energy I'm putting out there? And is this the energy that I want to get back multiplied? Because the same happens with money. When we're feeling crabby, we tend to overspend, ignore money, don't look at them. And then money doesn't feel respected and loved and treated well. Would you want to be treated the way you're treating your money? If you would ask me five years ago, it would be like, oh, heck no. It was such a big wake up call for me. So really tap into the feeling and ask yourself, how can I feel just a little bit better? And if you're feeling great, amazing, milk it, really enjoy it, tap into it, journal about it, share with a friend or your mentor who really gets you and will amplify and put a gasoline in your fire. So really tap into that feeling because that's how we create abundance in our life. That's how we bring in more joy and that's how we create the inspired action that it's for us. So I really hope you love this episode. If you did, please share it on Instagram stories, tag me at Petya Kolebova and share with me what is the one thing you will do that will make you feel good. And remember, I love you, I see you, and I receive you.